people will say that it's childish or like, how old are you? I can be, you know, 40 years old and, and like color and <laughs> television show figurines. That's just me. Welcome to my apartment in the Bronx, New York. My name is Lori Mooney. I am 40 years old. I live in a one bedroom apartment in Bronx, New York, and I pay $1,000 a month in rent. I grew up about 10 minutes away from the specific area where I am now. When I was in high school, I moved with my parents to basically the same street that I'm currently on now, and I've been here ever since. I've often described my apartment as like a visual assault. I like when you come in the door, I like a ton of colors and a ton of different things hitting you in the face as soon as you walk in. My bedrooms have always been, since I was 10 years old, covered in posters and magazine clippings. I love entertainment, I love movies, I love TV, I work in TV, I love it so much. So I've always wanted uh, my spaces to reflect my interests. There was one time where I tried to count the amount of magazine cutouts I had and then I just got tired around 2,000. So I would guesstimate it's about 10,000 small magazine clippings, possibly over that around this apartment. My landlord has been here a few times, wants to fix the toilet and seems to be totally fine with it. One time uh, he was here uh, fixing something and then after about 10, 15 minutes, his wife was here for a tour and then his daughters came in. He told me as long as I keep it clean and it's good, we're good. I have no dishwasher, no washer and dryer. I have my parents next door and they allow me to use the washer and dryer. So again, best of both worlds. I was living here a year when Con Ed contacted me and said, um, is your gas working because you never seem to use your stove? And I had never used my stove, so I got my gas turned off here. So I pay less than what I had used to be paying for Con Ed because all I eat in this apartment is sandwiches and you know microwavable uh, macaroni and cheese. I have never once had a desire to live in uh, Manhattan or anywhere other than the neighborhood where I am. I really love the fact that it is so quiet and nice and that I can just have peace at home and have chaos <laughs> when I need it. I was before uh, this apartment living with a roommate and I decided I wanted to uh, venture out, live in my own uh, space. And it just so happened that the building owner in uh, the apartment next to my parents' house, I was looking for a new tenant, and so they asked my parents if they knew anybody who was looking to uh, move in, and uh, my parents said yes, and so I got this apartment. The apartment's worth it because it's almost impossible to get a one bedroom, uh, especially in the city, for $1,000 a month, it's completely worth it. Most people that I know who are paying this amount are paying more for a studio apartment. So to have a one bedroom and, a, and separate rooms and a separate kitchen and all of that for the amount of money I'm paying is, is just great. I paid a $900 security deposit and then I paid first month's rent $900. So I paid a total of $1,800 when I moved in here. So when I got this apartment, I was uh, living somewhere else. So I actually paid one month's rent before I moved in here so that I can come and go as I please to decorate it to make sure that when I did move in, there was a ton of color and a ton of different collages so that I would finally feel at peace here. If I had just moved in and it was full white walls and I had to live in there while decorating, I would kind of lose my mind. By the time I moved in, it wasn't, you know, obviously as it is now, but it was, it was <laughs> move-in ready for me. There's no way to tell how much money I've spent uh, decorating this apartment. It's gotta be in the thousands, but it's all the thousands with like $10 items. So nothing here is big scale. Over years and years, I've just, you know, I love collecting uh, things and I just add and add and add. 
When you walk in, you are immediately in Super Mario Brothers world. When I moved in here, it was, I had painted the walls blue already and then I found the decals, so I decided it fit. It's the one place in my apartment where it's not covered in magazines. I did decoupage or collage the, uh, the floor, so there is sort of uh, a little bit of that. And then you enter into a front room, which I guess most people would put a kitchen table in or something. I just put a oversized monkey and different figurines. So this is my kitchen, which is actually my favorite room uh, in the apartment, even though I don't really do much in here. I just love it because it's so eclectic with different ways of decorating. So I covered all of the uh, basically wood uh, cabinets and things with different color wrapping papers that had different patterns and also magazine um, cutouts included with that. So this is my living room, basically where I house all of my TV and movie memorabilia. I have tons of television figurines around. My couch is covered in TV show police blankets. Um, anytime uh, I buy something that is like TV or movie related, it usually ends up in this room on display. This is my bedroom, which is the most collaged room out of all the rooms in my apartment. Every piece of space in uh, all the walls or photos that I cut out from magazines. And pretty much every other part of the room is a uh, collage as well. I had to figure out a way to decorate these blinds in some way for the windows. So literally I was cutting each individual piece of magazine photos and then gluing them each individually onto each slat of the blind. So they're not really functional blinds, I can't open or close them. Purely decorative, but they cover the windows and they fit the decor. This is my bathroom, which I have also collaged uh, to the theme of basically celebrities in bathrooms. By my toilet, I have celebrities doing uh, bathroom scenes on the toilet from TV shows. By my sink, I have celebrities using the sink. Over the shower, I have celebrities in showers. I love this neighborhood because it's in the city, but it's also the suburbs, so I get the best of both worlds. I'm a New Yorker through and through, but I still get to have, you know, trees and getting to go driving whenever I want and, and walk into the subway when I want to, too. At this stage of the game, I don't have any plans to purchase a home. That would be the next step if I were to move out of here or something happened where I had to go. I'd look more to like a condo or, you know, a, a apartment that I could just purchase just to have ownership of something, but I'm not really thinking about that in the near future. Everyone used to think that I would outgrow this and maybe some part of me thought I would too, but we're going on <laughs> decades and decades and I love it now more than I did when I was a kid. I really just love color and and different aspects. So all I, I, all I can see happening is it becoming more of a passion of mine. And if I ever you know, move to a different space with more space, then it'll be more things covered up.